Hello, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 server memory. For starters, the R630 is the next generation moving on from the R620. The R630 takes DDR4 server memory and has 24 DIMM slots. There's two types of RAM that you can put inside, ECC registered and load reduced. ECC registered is also known as RDIMM and load reduced is also known as LRDIMM. With ECC registered, you can get a max of 768 gigabytes. You can load 24 slots with 32 gigs at 2666 megahertz. With load reduced, you can have a higher capacity and go up to 1.5 terabytes. And you can actually load 24 64 gigabytes at 266 megahertz, same speed. So there's obviously some advantages on capacity when it comes to LRDIMs over ECC Reg. When customers ask, we always recommend LRDIMs for the fact that you will have scalability in the future. Even if you're only putting in, say, eight DIMs right now, you might want to upgrade in two years from now. And when you want to upgrade, you don't want to have to throw away the ECC Reg to be able to add in load reduced. All right, well, now that we know a little bit about it, let's pop her open and learn a little bit more. Let's grab our ESD gear and get started. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we are safe to open the machine and prevent it from getting shocked. First things first, make sure that the latch is set to unlocked. Go ahead and pop it open. And voila, we are in. You'll notice there's no RAM in here right now. We're gonna go ahead and load a few sticks in. So the first thing you wanna do is take off the air baffle. You will notice that there are green, black, and white DIMM slots. There are three DIMMs per memory channel. Each channel starts with the white DIMM slot. So let's say we were only going to load in four DIMMs, which we're going to do in just a second. You want to put them in each of the white DIMMs. If you only are running, say, one CPU, then you need to make sure you're using the DIMM slots on this half of the board. If you're using both CPUs, then you can use all of them. So let's go ahead and load her up. All right, you will notice on the modules, there is a key or a notch in the middle. If you were to try to load in, say, DDR3 RAM or a uh, desktop module, the notch will actually be in a different slot, thus not, not allowing you to put it into the machine. Okay, so first things first, we want to identify the white slots. Flip her around. We're going to go ahead and pop it in. And keep in mind, we are only loading the white DIMM slots. If we were loading the entire machine, then we can use some of the other colors. But in this case, we need to make sure we keep it in the white. Otherwise, the machine will throw some errors. Okay? So you can see it's really simple to put these in. It's literally just moving some tabs and making sure you have it facing the right way. Uh, once you've loaded them in, you simply will just put back all the, the pieces, the air baffle, and the top. So that's really all you need to do to upgrade the machine. Now, if you have any other questions, you can definitely feel free to email us. Or if you need a quotation on some parts, we have a bunch of 16 gig and 32 gigs that we just got in. Feel free to email us at sales at cloud ninjas with an S dot com. That's sales at cloud ninjas dot com. Well, thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about the R7 or R630. Have a great day.